Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, December 30th, 1220 in the morning. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do a snow update real quick. I want you guys to see what's going on right now. And I've got not the best news for y'all. We might not even get two or three inches out of this storm now. It's, there's, there's been nothing. There's been absolutely nothing. And I've been looking at all these different forecasts and, and it's, by the time this thing's done by tomorrow afternoon, we might get three inches of snow from this whole entire storm. That's it, three inches of snow. So I'm a little bit disappointed and I'm disappointed for the people that wanted to come up here and, and make snow angels in deep snow. But yeah, so right now, the reason why we're out right now is because this is when the radar is showing the, the heaviest of, this, of the snowfall from the storm. And as you can see, it's not that heavy. It shows light, moderate, and heavy. And the heaviest that it's it's getting is like just below moderate, which is right now. So still light snow, this is it. Um, as I said, by the time this is said and done, we're not gonna have more than, gosh, two or three inches, maybe. I don't even think we're gonna get that now. How incredible is that? Go from 56 inches to nothing. I mean, if you look at the storm track, I mean, it, it just, like, just went north of us. I mean, everything, it just went north of us. So I'm assuming that if you guys who are driving up tomorrow um, are coming up like Highway 18 or the 330, it's. I bet it's pretty bad over there. I bet they got hit really good. But we didn't get anything. This is this is just absolutely nutty. Like I've I've never seen it this bad where they missed the forecast that bad. I mean, the radar looked good for a while too. It looked like how could we not get slammed? But yeah, this right now, this is technically, as the radar shows, this is the heaviest part of this storm coming through right now. In our area. And we're on Big Bear Boulevard. Lone Rangers for the most part. But yeah, this is quite a disappointment, you guys. But it would be a good time to, to thank everybody who lives up here, who works up here. All the authorities from the police to the people who do the plowing and all of that for getting the town set up for all of you and doing the best that they can. Um, yeah, we all get really stressed out because we want to make sure that you come up here and have a great time. And so they, they work their, their butts off. And uh, I just want to say thank you to every single one of you up here, from the pizza delivery people to everybody who bust your butts. It's unfortunate that it didn't pan out, just like the little last storm we had a few days ago. This time lapse that I have going for, for both storms, it's going to be weak. It's not going to be, a, it's going to be horrible. It'll still be nice, you know, just to see change, but it's gonna be like five days, or five and a half days, or six days, 20 minutes long, um, of what I was expecting to see, maybe four or five feet of snow in this town. But this is it, you guys. So after this video, because it's supposed to stop snowing for a couple hours at about three or four, but this is the heaviest part that we're gonna get right now. I, I just can't believe it. I just cannot believe it. So I'm gonna be trying to go to sleep. I haven't slept yet, you guys. I've just been laying down on the couch, but I'm definitely, definitely gonna be going to bed shortly. And then I'll get up early to do another video. I don't know about early because there's gonna be nothing to really record, but we'll be doing another video tomorrow, obviously. Or today, technically, since it's 12.23. So, oh well. Bummer for everybody, man. I'm super bummed. And I know it's not my fault, but I feel bad because, you know, my videos convince a bunch of people to come up here, and my excitement convinces them even more. So, you were expecting, like, record snowfall, and literally, it might not look any different tomorrow than it does right now. It's just such a bummer. But yeah, man, everyone who, who works in this town and preps this town for all the tourists and stuff, 
You guys did a great job again, like usual. Um, yeah, keep up the good work, you guys. This is just really sad. Because I know how bummed out I am about it. And I know if I was a visitor, how bummed out I'd be. I remember a couple times going up to our Lake Arrowhead house when I was a kid and it was supposed to snow and it didn't and we ne we didn't get that many opportunities to go up there maybe twice a year maybe and when it didn't snow when it was supposed to I would cry <laughs> seriously so it's just uh yeah I, I feel really really bad um you know people are once again probably expecting to wake up to not being able to open their front door but they're going to wake up to not seeing any difference Seriously, it hasn't even it hasn't even snowed a quarter of an inch from this storm, from this humongous storm. Such a bummer. I hope all of you are doing okay. Thank you guys for all the love and support, man. You guys are so supportive of me. It, it truly blows me away. It really does. You guys are my family, and I will never let you guys down. I'm very grateful for you guys. Here, I'm just gonna pull in and might as well get my mail while we're out here. I'm not gonna take us in this time, but we are just gonna get our mail. And I'll restart the video again shortly. But yeah, what a bummer of an update, you guys. I'm really sorry about this. I mean, I know there were so, so many of you were so excited. So many of you were dropping everything to come up here for this. Um, I can at least say at least the ski resorts are still making snow even though it's only 32 degrees outside it hasn't dropped below 32 this whole time uh, since the storm started tonight so it's 32 degrees it says that at my house too on all three of my uh, temperature gauges so yeah it's, it's, it's quite a bummer but hang on guys I'll be right back all right so we're leaving the post office such a bummer you guys hey at least we got a green light though I'll take that so yeah so we're getting a little bit of snow flurries right now as i said this is the heaviest that the storm's supposed to get for the rest of the storm in big bear and it's kind of like a mixture of rain and snow it's just it's just not it's not awesome at all very much bummed to kind of enjoy some of the houses that have lights and stuff we're going to go down night avenue and then take the back streets just from night to moon ridge and then we'll be done with this video <sighs> i was really 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 hoping we get nailed on so you can see it snowing or snaining but it's so light it's just such a disappointment such a disappointment I hope you all are having a great evening I hope you all are sound asleep um, I mean I really hope this this either saves some of you a trip or it makes the trip better for you because I know a lot of you were really scared to drive up here but you're but you're gonna drive up here today sometime and so hopefully you still come up here because we need you guys up here we depend on you guys and as I said all the townspeople from the people who plow to the parking people to the police officers to the firemen the ambulance people, I mean, guys, they, they, they bust their butts to make sure that everything works out for you guys. And I'm really, really, really proud of how hard they work. I'm, I'm just, I'm disappointed for you guys, that's all. All the restaurant people, man, when we get storms like this, they are working so hard. Thank you all for working your butts off. And all 
all of you who came up here. Thank you guys for coming up here. We really do appreciate it a lot, you know, and, and, and we really want you to have fun. You, you can still have fun. I mean, there's enough snow to have fun, but I mean, like it's, <laughs> I'm not going to keep on dwelling on, well, I probably will dwell on it, but I'm trying not to dwell on it. It's just a bummer. Like this is the heaviest it's going to snow. There's some right there. Usually a lot of people will keep their Christmas lights up, I think, until like January 1st. At least. At least I'm that kind of a dork that would. But my my Christmas lights, they're not like Christmas colored lights, so I can they're like mountain lights. Year-round type of beautiful lights that make everything really, really pretty, especially at nighttime with all the snow. Well with <laughs> When, when we have a lot of snow, the lights at my house make everything look so pretty. This is just, just fun. As I said, in about an hour, it's supposed to stop snowing for about two hours. And then we have a little more snow coming in on and off throughout the day tomorrow until about 4 or 5 p.m. But it's going to be nothing more than this. As I said, they said now, well, a few hours ago it said maybe six inches and then that was probably four hours ago and then three hours ago it went down to about four inches and then two hours ago it went down to three inches total for this storm and then right before I left my house it was saying two inches or less by the time this is done man Once again though, for the people that are going to come up and still go skiing and stuff, I hope you have a great time. Hope you have the time of your life. I'm sure it'll be great conditions because as I said, they're they're making snow every single day up there. So, it, so it'll be fresh snow, but unfortunately it's not going to be as much snow as we all thought. six inches versus two inches as I said I don't even think we're gonna get two inches seriously though thank you guys for all your love all your support you guys are amazing you guys make me feel good about myself and you guys give me give me reason and, and give me purpose I appreciate that. There's a cop right behind me. We'll see if he turns on his lights. No, nope, it was just someone tailgating me. That's why I thought it was a cop, because it's so late. Why would someone be tailgating me? I'm the only car out here. I just hope those of you who come up do have a good time. Don't be as disparaged as I am. But don't let this fool you. The other side of the mountain range, guys, I think got hammered. Like we're running springs and crest line and stuff are. I think they got a lot of nasty weather. The the northern part of the range. And we we just missed it. Like by this much. Like this much difference would have been feet of snow. So just be careful coming up. Your, your best bet guaranteed, if you want the safest, the safest route up, come go around the mountain range and come up Highway 18 through Lucerne Valley. I'm telling you, I will guarantee you put it on my life that you will have probably zero struggles getting up the mountain, zero. Coming up any of the other way, like the bottom of 38 or 330 um, up to 18, could be pretty rough but once you get into town you'll be fine i love you guys i hope you guys take care peace out thing. don't forget i'm gonna do a video tomorrow um obviously it, um when we have a little bit of snow tomorrow and then the aftermath video it's not going to be like much aftermath but that'll be the following day and the time lapse will come out that day too
sorry again, you guys. But thank you guys for always being so loving and supportive. It means a lot to me and it makes my heart so warm. Thank you guys.